stuck here. That shirt's pretty good for that. Okay. So this is Clay Croft of uh, Expedition Overland. Um, it's a series on YouTube that I've been following and uh, met him here at the Overland Expo. So first of all, I want to say thanks for sitting down and, and uh, talking. Yeah, you bet. So Expedition Overland, this is your idea, your, your baby, mm -hmm. brainchild. Yep. And um, what, what, what is it about this kind of travel that really uh, suits you, that you like? Uh, well, I think for most Overlanders, the feeling of independence uh, being self-reliant out of your own vehicle is uh, is a challenge and rewarding mm -hmm. to the traveler. Mm -hmm. And uh, it comes with it definitely comes with its creature comforts, being able to travel that way. Or lack and, uh, of creature comforts. Or, well, <laughs> let's be honest. This is glamping. It's, <laughs> it's when, this isn't. Uh, might even upset some people. But this isn't real hardcore in a lot of ways. You know, this is. Uh, this is systematic travel by vehicle, and it's set up, at least how we do it, it's set up so that you have a very comfortable way of living while you see the world out of your vehicle. And that's the idea. It's, it's, you're there to see the world, not uh, necessarily go wheeling it. Well, let's talk a little bit about the team, because, you know, I, I imagine you've got different skills with a group of people. Um, did you kind of break down into different roles? Oh yeah, everyone has a role. If you don't define roles within the, the group, uh, it takes about one day and you'll all be fighting. So um, we split it up between mechanics, logistics, navigation, drivers, food, and, uh, and then of course the camera side too. We, everybody on our team has two roles. One is on the production side and one is on the expedition side. So for example, my role is a cinematographer director and uh, when it comes to the expedition side, I'm kind of the guy that's doing general logistics on planning the oversight of the trip and what we need, fuel here, fuel there kind of thing. Mm -hmm. uh, and then another guy will be helping just set up cameras for a guy, but he's mostly worried about making sure that the vehicles are running and being taken care of while we're out. Um, how would you contrast uh, the solo uh, traveler? With the, the big team effort here. Sure, they both solo and team efforts have their different value sets. Um, I I personally really like traveling solo. Have many many for many years traveled solo on ten day trip here, five day trip there, or something. Nothing super extensive, but uh, for me it boils down to really enjoying the trip with the people that are around me. Mm -hmm. And uh, watching those people interact, I just I get a lot more pleasure out of the deal yeah. when uh, you see other people having a good time that are your friends or your family or people you love. Uh, but solo really teaches you a lot, mm -hmm. and it's important to do smart. You've got to be smart. Don't just run out there. But uh, I think being solo teaches you confidence that uh, you can't get traveling with a group all the time because mm -hmm. you got to make every decision yourself. Mm -hmm.